Hey guys, I'm going to try and show you a Termogy 9 XR, an Android phone, a NAS32 base flight quadcopter with FR Sky receiver, GPS, which is this thing here, working with on screen display. As you can see, all the data is overlaid from the camera on the front of the quadcopter, and the Minim OSD. Uh, these are all working all at the same time with telemetry even when armed. Um, previously it's only been possible to have um, the telemetry data output when the quadcopter is armed but without using the OSD and so on. It's not ideal. And if that's if you're using a GPS. Now the reason for that is because the NACE32 down here, this little orange board with the blue light on it, has only got support for two serial ports on it, two physical hardware serial ports that the processor on it controls. So when you're using it as a quadcopter, even with you know when you're using like a camera with um, an extra servo on it or even two servers for pan and tilt, you've still got a couple of spare outputs on the side here. You've actually got four spare pins on here. Um, so I wrote some software to turn those four pins into two extra serial ports, and that's now included with any new version of Base Flight after today, which is uh, near the beginning of April 2014. Anyway, the idea is that instead of using the telemetry output port on the NAS Revision 5, which is normally over here, normally you'd have two wires connected in here, but I've just got the ground connected in here and the other telemetry pin is unused. Uh, so instead of using that pin, the receiver is now connected into the second of the spare pins, which should be um, channel 6, uh, according to the uh, NAS32 document. Uh, Channel 6 to transmit, channel 5 is received, and that's off serial port 1. The other two pins are the next receive and transmit, um, respectively, for the next software serial port. The software serial port's up to uh, 19,200 board. I tested it with uh, high values, but it was, wasn't found to be reliable enough. Uh, but it seems to be pretty good with um, 19.2 or below. Um, so anyway, so the... Uh, NASE is hooked up to the FR Sky receiver's telemetry input port, so it goes into the RX on here. That then sends out data from the flight controller, even when it's not armed, as you can see here, my props aren't spinning. Um, and that can then be received by your radio. Now my radio's got internal wiring to connect up to the connect up the DJT telemetry FR Sky receiver to the processor that's inside of this so that when you press long press down on here and this is running open TX the latest build of that you can actually see all the telemetry data and if I move the quadcopter around you can see the accelerometer X value changing there um, there's various other bits of telemetry information you can get out of it like signal strength um, battery voltages of the um, two batteries that it's got connected to, supplies it's got. Uh, you can also get GPS positions as you can see there. Um, and at the same time it's doing that, I've also got a Bluetooth adapter hooked up to the, let me get this right, the ground, the where you can see my little cable here, the MISO and MOSI pins of the port which allows you to flash the firmware of the um, of the 9XR because those ports, the, this port is internally connected to the same pins that the FR Sky receiver is connected to internally. There's various guides on the net on how to do that as well. Um, so this is hooked up to a little Bluetooth adapter, and what that means is that my phone over here can connect up to the receiver transmitter um, in the actual transmitter, because it receives as well as transmits, so it's a bit confusing. Um, and it can also get um, the same telemetry data on here that you see on the screen over here. Um, so that's the same information in both places there. Um, you can also do cool things on the phone, and this is using a program called FR Sky Dashboard. Um, you can ver you can get all this information from it. 
And I've not used this much today because I only just set it up today. So you can also get it to show you a map of where your quadcopter is. And it's it's failed there because the GPS positions are wrong because I'm indoors and it's not got the right uh, location. There we go. Um, you can also exit that and use the easy Started. GUI and you can go FR Sky Connect if you enable it in the options and that will connect up to the Bluetooth adapter and a little red light went on there and you should be able to see the FR Sky data there as well and this is all at the same time that the OSD is displaying its data because that is still connected to the normal serial port <clears throat> and also while the GPS is still plugged in and receiving data. So there's essentially three serial ports in use there all at the same time all while disarmed. There you go. So if you want to know more, more about that um, there's a couple of apps if I wake up the little computer you can go to GitHub MultiWi to get to the uh, source code. You can find all the various different branches and networks and so on like that, of all the different contributors to the project. Zero meters. Which should come up. There's quite a few contributors these days. Um, I'm listed on here as Hydra, and that's me. And you can get to my repository by following the various links. So you can see there, it's Hydra Base Flight. So you'll find all the software serial related code in there. Uh, but it's already in the, um, the main source code and the binaries that are available. Uh, there's a couple of other little tools which you don't, if you don't know about, you should definitely have a look into. There's one called Base Flight Configurator, which makes configuring the, um, the NACE 32 meters. much easier. I'm not going to share it at the moment because I've got serial, because the serial port is used by the uh, OSD at the moment. Uh, you've also got the Easy GUI, which is the Android app, which has got a whole bunch of um, settings, and you can use this out in the field. It's pretty handy if you connect up the Bluetooth instead of the OSD. You can change it in the field. And you've also got the FR Sky dashboard, which I just showed you a minute ago. There you go. So there it is. <coughs>